The first enchanter overstepped his bounds. Do you never intend to give a public answer, Your Grace? What have I been asked? About the mages. You could calm this fire if you stepped forward. The Chantry's teachings are clear. Those who turn against them would not listen more to me than to Andraste. Orsino and the Knight Commander will tear Kirkwall apart. They will try. I did not expect things to deteriorate so fast. I thought after the Canari, no one would wish for more violence. It has drawn more attention than I would like. Sebastian, if I can ask... Anything, Your Grace. And the Champion, too, if you will? I agree to nothing until I know what it is. The Divine is concerned about the situation here. She does not want to see the Free Marches become another Imperium. She has sent an agent to assess the danger. Meet with her, please. Tell her drastic measures won't be required. Don't you want an end to this? Has Kirkwall not suffered enough? Should it be declared anathema and an enemy of the Chantry? Imagine high town streets, filled not just with Meredith's Templars, but all the forces the Divine can command. Surely the Divine wouldn't treat the whole city as enemies. She is concerned. It is never wise to draw the concern of the powerful. She is the voice of Andraste. She cannot turn the might of the Chantry against the innocent due to proximity. Were no innocents harmed in the exalted marches? She will do her best, Sebastian. But she must act first to protect the faith. What argument would convince her? The Divine has heard my protests already. I must trust your own powers of persuasion now. What argument would convince her? The Divine has heard my protests already. I must trust your own powers of persuasion now. This cannot wait. Thank you. We cannot allow this ridiculous mage rebellion to turn into holy war. The Agent, Sister Nightingale, will be waiting in the Viscount's throne room tonight. She wishes to remain unseen. The room has been sealed since the Canari incident. It may be difficult to get in without attracting attention. May the Maker's gaze be upon you. I shudder to think of the Divine sending Templars against the Free Marches like an... I mean, you keep saying how great it is. And as Isabella tell me to stay away from it, but what does it do? Among the Dalish, the Keepers teach the children, preserve our history, perform magic. The priestesses here just... sing. The Chantry does many charitable works. It cares for widows and orphans. Who in the Dalish would just be part of the clan, like everyone else? I just don't get it.
Hello again, champion. The Viscount's throne room has been sealed off since his death. A strange place for a holy sister to be. I love doing that. So, even the Divine fears us now. She should. Kill the spies! Resolutionists. I might have known they would be part of this. Are you Sister Nightingale? I am. Or you may call me Liliana. The Divine sent me to investigate the possibility of a rebellion here in Kirkwall. I have some experience in unconventional situations. Sister Liliana? From Lothering? But I heard you died. The Maker knew it was not my time. There is more for me to do in this world. I am working for the Divine now, in Orle. I had not thought to return to this part of Thedas. Who are the Resolutionists? An offshoot of a fraternity within the Circle of Magi. There have always been factions that support freedom from the Chantry, and the abolition of the Circle. We have... tolerated them. But the Resolutionists have become violent. They are likely behind the unrest here. Why did those mages attack us? The Divine has long suspected that Kirkwall's problems were spurred by an outside group. This attack proves she is right. Are you saying you set this whole thing up? I let word slip that an agent of the Divine was coming to investigate the mage troubles. It is how they chose to react, which condemns them. The rebellion here must be stopped. At any cost. No, that's not what the Grand Cleric wants. We can handle this, sister. There's no need for the Divine... Divine Justinia takes the situation here very seriously. She believes it is the worst threat to Thedas since the Cunara invaded. A handful of apostates. How can that... Possibly. <laughs> the whole world is watching Kirkwall. If it falls to magic, none of us are safe. Tell Elthina to leave. There is refuge for her at the Grand Cathedral in Orle. She will not be safe here. These mages are out of control. I wouldn't normally say this, but the uh, shiny white armor, it works for you. That's uncharacteristically kind of you, Varric. Makes you look like a lacquered pilot whale. Ah, now that was much more in character.
Is there a story behind Bianca? There's a story behind everything, Daisy. So tell me. I can't. Why not? There was a girl, and I made a promise. Bianca is the only story I can never tell. You can't say that. Now I want to know even more. <laughs> that was the idea, Daisy. Sister Nightingale says you must leave Kirkwall. What? You were right. The Divine will be taking action against Kirkwall, though the Sister didn't say what. You must take the holy relics from the Chantry and leave for safety. Sebastian, I'm surprised at you. Andraste would not thank me for saving a few dusty finger bones and my own skin at the cost of people's lives. You keep dead people here. The Kirkwall Chantry has guarded the remains of the martyr Devrina for 800 years. They must be protected. When I became Grand Cleric, I took a vow to the people of Kirkwall and the Free Marches. I will not leave my flock. Would you let yourself die? There is no greater devotion than to lay one's life at the Maker's feet. There is no better death than to take the blow for another. You've been warned. Do what you will. Please, Your Grace. Sister Nightingale thinks there will be war. Then, I must make peace. Settle yourself, Sebastian. I'm in no personal danger. I am Grand Cleric. Who would dare attack me? If you will not shield yourself, then I will be your shield. You will come through this safely by the Maker's name. I swear it. If Althina won't leave Kirkwall, neither will I. I can't abandon her when the Divine's own agent warned her away. And I thought maybe I was the one you wanted to protect. You are quite capable of fending off a battalion of mages on your own, Hawk. But if these Maleficarum rebel against the Knight Commander, Elthina will put herself between them and be torn apart. I must try to make her see reason. This cannot end well. Hawk should do it. Kirkwall needs a Viscount. I hardly think someone with Hawk's proclivities would make a good ruler. I watched my parents in Starkhaven. When times are good, the city rules itself. Years could pass and no one would notice who's prince. But when there's famine, when there's war, people look to their leaders. Who does Kirkwall have beyond Hawk? This is probably a conversation for the two of you to have. You want me to be Viscount? Andraste said the Maker is king in the heavens, but it is the kings of Thedas who must recreate his worldly glory. I keep thinking about that. Who better serves the Maker? A brother of the faith, or a prince who can sway a whole city? More people follow the word of their king than their priest. Starkhaven needs me. But I will not leave Elthina to the mercy of those apostates. We must put down their rebellion and solidify the Chantry's hold. Then I can return to Starkhaven with a clean conscience. Alone? Or will you bring someone with you? <laughs> the Prince of Starkhaven and the Viscountess of Kirkwall? It would be the strongest alliance the Free Marches has ever seen. But let us cross that bridge once we're both firmly established. I will offer you no less than a prince. I cannot leave until we defeat these mages. Hope you haven't come to try to talk me into leaving again. Kirkwall needs a steadying hand on its reins now more than ever. Orsino and the Knight Commander grow more fractious by the day. The only way this will end is when one of them kills the other. I hope you're wrong. I've been talking with them both. Orsino is not an unreasonable man. Surely a compromise can be reached. <laughs> <laughs>